More than 900 people in Wisconsin have tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, continuing the upward trajectory of cases the state has been seeing for the last month. On average, more than 800 people are testing positive every day. Good evening, I'm George Smith. Amber is off tonight. Dane County's public health officials say teens and even younger children are the concerning new face of COVID-19 infections. Officials just released information on a specific COVID-19 spike. Tony Galley joins us from the Alliant Energy Center where some teenagers can still be vaccinated. Tony. Teenagers 16 and over are eligible to come to vaccination sites such as this one to get their vaccine and some encouraging prevention news from health officials tonight more than 50% of Dane County's vaccination eligible population has received a first dose. Health officials say COVID-19 cases in Dane County are slightly increasing. They are most concerned with those under 18, including children ineligible for vaccination. Officials say until the last two weeks, that group made up 13% of positive cases. They now represent 21%. In the last two weeks, 123 new diagnoses in our younger community members. Two weeks before that, we saw only 70 children in this age range diagnosed with COVID. Public Health Madison Dane County Director Janelle Heinrich says this spike in COVID-19 among the young makes it more important for adults to be vaccinated to help protect children. And coming up tonight at six, how a unique vaccine situation will help older teens next week get more of an opportunity for that protection. Reporting live from the Align Energy Center and its vaccination site, Tony Galley, 27 News.